guys, welcome to another video. Daniel Acevedo, Keller Williams Realty Group. So today we are gonna be discussing HOAs, Homeowners Association. Me personally, I think they just get a bad reputation. They get that bad reputation for things like the HOA fees and strict regulations and sometimes even personal feuds. But I've had clients that have sought out a homeowners association communities and others that have passionately refused to even look at a homeowners association. So it, it goes either way. But HOAs have a ton of good things to offer. So in today's video, my goal is not to change your mind on an HOA, but to open your mind to all that an HOA has to offer. So that way when you're on your next home search, you don't just immediately disqualify an HOA community to potentially be your next home. So let's get into the video. Okay, so first off, a homeowners association or HOA is an organization in a common interest community that makes and enforces rules for the residents of that community. Now, the community could be comprised of single homes or townhomes or even condos for that matter. If you purchase a home in an HOA community, you automatically become a member of that HOA and are required to pay the dues or homeowners association fees that come along with that community. The HOA is typically ran by residents of the community and usually has a board of directors that is elected to oversee and enforce the rules of that particular HOA community. Before you make an offer on a home in an HOA community, you want to ask your realtor to request a copy of a CC&R document. That's a Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions document. This document outlines the HOA's rules and regulations that you'll have to abide by. And you may be able to find this information online. You're, you more than likely are going to be able to find this information. You're going to be able to find this information online. It's, it's find anything online. So to get a jump, check it out make sure that you read this document thoroughly. It does not come in brochure form. Chances are it's probably gonna be about 100 pages long, but please, 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 if you listen to nothing else I'm saying, read this document thoroughly, because through this document, you will be able to find out whether or not this HOA is gonna be right for you and your family. Okay, so here's the big question. The question you really wanna know, how much are the HOA fees? So an HOA collects monthly or yearly for their HOA fees. And typically, HOA fees run between two and $400, but they can range from anywhere between less than $100 to thousands of dollars for your more luxurious communities. The community residents pay HOA fees mainly for the use and maintenance of common areas like swimming pools and tennis courts and parks and landscaping. Often, the regulations are appearance oriented, so they deal with the cleanliness and the conditions of the community, as well as keeping a uniform appearance. But the HOA fees also contribute to the association's reserve fund, which are set aside for major renovations or emergencies such as hurricane damage. As you can imagine, the more amenities a community has, whether it be a golf course, a swimming pool, a clubhouse, security, whatever it is, the more you can expect that your HOA fees will be. And that basically stems from the more maintenance and care that's gonna be taken to the community for these extra amenities. So there's a lot of pros and cons to living in an HOA community, but like I had mentioned before, some people love it, and some people find their rules really restrictive and arbitrary. A few of the negatives are, well, the HOA fees. Sometimes these fees discourage pers prospective buyers because how it stretches their monthly budget and what they can afford. Other negatives like the HOA's restrictive regulations sometimes make prospective home buyers feel trapped. They feel like they can't decorate their home the way they feel fit. Now wait, 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 wait. That's just some of the bad stuff. Don't, don't run off just yet though. Now for one, your property values will benefit from the HOA's ability to govern the maintenance and appearance of the homes in the community. In fact, iProperty Management HOA statistics found that between 2005 and 2015, 
HOA home values increased 15.1% during that period of time. Also, in an HOA community, you'll have access to some really exclusive amenities like a swimming pool, golf course, security gated communities. I mean, think about it. You might be right now paying $400 for a pool membership. Plus, the HOA sets and enforces community rules. So when your neighbor decides to turn his driveway into a mechanic shop or park a 30-foot caravan in front of your house, you need not worry because the HOA is on the job and they'll take care of it quickly. So guys, I hope I shed a little light on HOAs and hopefully when you're on the hunt for your next home, you'll do some research before you completely rule out HOA living. With all that being said, I'm gonna wrap the video up right here. If you're still watching, give the video a thumbs up. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, because I drop new videos every week and you don't wanna miss any content. So guys, if I don't hear from you first, I'll catch you out there.